All right, so I did electrical engineering colleges, and the first one is Arizona State University at the Ira A. Fulton School of Engineering. It's an engineering school there. Uh, for admission, their acceptance rate is pretty high, 86%, and Arizona residents automatically get accepted if they do not have a D on their report card. Uh, for AP, IB, and dual enrollment credits, most of the AP classes are recognized, and you're given credit if you have an AP test score of a three, a four, or a five, uh, and some of the AP classes that might pertain to electrical engineering or AP computer science, which you must actually get a four or a five on, and AP calculus BC uh, or AB, which you can actually get a three, four, or a five on. And then for IB classes, they're uh, recognizing you're given credit if you have a test score of five, six, or seven on the IB test. And for dual enrollment credits, uh, your credit is recognized if you get a C or a higher in the class, and if your credit is from originally accredited college or university, which if you're doing it here, it goes through Scottsdale Community College, so it would be. Uh, and they use the common application and their own uh, online application, and for their online application, they actually do not require any essays. All right, the Arizona State University cost. So their total in-state tuition is around $28,000 before financial aid and scholarships. And then the tuition itself is only $10,000 and then room and board is $12,000. Books and supplies are $1,000 and some other fees are only $700. Uh, the, the average financial aid for a freshman is $18,500. And then I included a link to the scholarships that you can go see, see uh, what scholarships you might want to apply for. And they actually have a scholarship calculator to see uh, the average amount of money that you would get depending on your SAT, ACT, GPA, class, and other stuff. Uh, and for since this is an in-state college and it's in Phoenix, your travel time and travel fees are close to zero. And because of that, you're, you can visit home a lot and uh, you even have the ability to not pay room and board because for Arizona State, it's re recommended for you to stay in their, one of their dorms, but it is not required. All right, the campus. There's four campuses, with Tempe being the main campus with 53,000 students. Uh, that's where most of your classes will be. And uh, it's ranked the 135th best campus in the, in the nation. And then downtown Phoenix is, uh, has 11,000 students that go to it. Uh, and both the Tempe and downtown Phoenix campuses are more urban campuses, as you can kind of tell from the downtown uh, campus. The picture is on the right. Here's the second picture. And then the Polytechnic campus only has 5,000 students, and the West campus only has 5,000 students as well. They're more urban, and they're the bottom two pictures. And the Tempe campus is the top picture. Uh, some pros and cons of Arizona State. It's in-state, and most of your IB AP and dual enrollment credits are accepted. Uh, they're the number one school for, in Arizona for electrical engineering. They have an honors college, and they have lots of clubs and activities, including D1 sports. Uh, one of the cons for it is it's only ranked 33rd for electrical engineering, was, which isn't that good. Uh, and then, depending on how you look at it, they have a large student population, so you probably have a lot of people in your classes. So if you don't like that, then that might be a all right, the next college I did was University of California at Berkeley. Uh, for their admissions, it's extremely competitive and hard to get into uh, with only a 14.8% acceptance rate. And now, right now, because of the coronavirus, they actually do not require your SAT or your ACT. However, they might in the future after this whole thing passes, but it's, I, I don't know. They use the UC application and some essays that might be on there are about leadership, what you've done, what you've been a leader in, and so on. Your creative expression, how you express your creativity, like what you like to do about art, if you like art or anything like that. And then uh, what your greatest talent or skill is, if you think you have one. And then there are about, I think, five others that you could do. Uh, they award AP credits for uh, a four or five on your AP test, it'd be credits for a five, six, or a seven. The cost, 
cost for Odyssey is pretty high with the total tuition being around $60, $67,000 and tuition being $40,000, room and board being $18,000, your books and supplies are only $850, then other fees are $7,500. However, the average financial aid per student is around $18,000 and they, I know they award quite a few scholarships as well, so the average cost for the out-of-state out of student is actually around 38000 or somewhere around there. That's your net cost. And then since this is in Berkeley, California, it's you, you would have to fly there, and it's a $100 round-trip ticket. It's direct from Phoenix to San Francisco with American Airlines. The flight's two hours, and then you also have a... 30 to one 30 minute to one hour drive to Berkeley, California. The campus, it's located in Berkeley, California. It's right above San Francisco in the Bay Area, and it's really close to Silicon Valley, giving giving it that ability for those large tech companies to hire people right out of college here. Uh, it's an urban campus, and for around 42,000 students are uh, some pros and cons. It has a great location. is one of its pros. It's near Silicon Valley, and they partner. UC Berkeley partners with lots of large tech companies in Silicon Valley to for things such as job fairs, and so that you can be employed at one of those right out of college. And they're actually ranked second best for electrical engineering, only behind MIT. Uh, and they also have many extracurriculars like clubs and. Uh, whatnot, and they also have D1 sports. The cons is it was very expensive. It's very expensive to go there. Even in-state's pretty expensive. And it's very difficult to get into. And then, obviously, it's out of state, so you have to take a plane to travel there, which costs money and time. And then Steve Wozniak actually graduated from UC Berkeley, and that's a picture of him graduating there. And he's one of the co-founders of Apple, he created the first Apple computers. With Steve Jobs, he said he hand soldered them. So obviously, it kind of plays into electrical engineering there. And then the third and final college I did was Iowa State University. Uh, they have an extremely high acceptance rate of around 90.6%. And right now, because of the coronavirus, they have no SAT or ACT required. They use the common application, or they actually have their own application in which you don't have to write any essays, you self report your grades actually find out if you're accepted into the college uh, in less than 10 minutes after you finish applying. And uh, the major merit scholarships that they have for out-of-state and in-state are automatically calculated for you and uh, applied to you at when you see the total tuition. And so the actual total tuition for out-of-state is around $36,000. The tuition is $22,000. The room and board is around $9,000. The books and supplies are $1,000. And the other fees are around four thousand dollars, and the average financial aid is around eight thousand dollars. However, the scholarships they give are quite a few. Like I know I saw one for Arizona. If you have over a three point two GPA, or over a twenty eight on your ACT, or like a thirteen twenty on your SAT, do you automatically get six thousand dollars a year? And I think that's thirty eight. I I don't remember what the total cost was over however many years you could do it for, but uh. Also, it's an out-of-state college like UC Berkeley, so you have to travel, but there is a direct flight that's $150. It's a round trip to Des Moines with American Airlines, and then once you do that flight, it's three hours, and there's a one-hour drive to campus. The campus, it's very rural. I've been there. It just kind of appears at the cornfields. Uh, there's only 36,000 students uh, that are enrolled there, which is less than ASU and UC Berkeley, and it's located in Ames, Iowa, which is a college town. Uh, the pros and cons of it, even though it's out of state, lots of scholarships and financial aid are given, and for that reason, it's ranked number four for the best value colleges for electrical engineering. Uh, it's ranked 23rd for electrical engineering in uh, total, which is pretty good because it is a public university. Uh, but some cons about it is its location. It's in Iowa, which isn't the most what isn't the best place for electrical engineers or computer science or really anything electrical. However, there are still some job opportunities. Uh, and it's also out of state, so it's a long flight. It's pretty far away. And then, like I said, it's out of state. 
And then an interesting thing is John Adanasoff was actually a physics and mathematics professor at Iowa State back in the 30s. And he's considered the father of the computer because at Iowa State, he created the Adanasoff Berry computer in 1937, which is actually the first digital computer ever created. And I believe, yep, that's it.